so far we discussed the overall syllabus of analog electronic circuits and the weightage of electronic circuits in various uh, streams of engineering like uh, electronics electrical and instrumentation engineering okay now let us have a look at the various uh, topics chapter wise and which uh, our very first chapter is diode applications okay so here what i am going to do is uh, i will be starting with the current equation of the diode based on the current equation and uh, the characteristics of the diode how various models of diode have been developed and from those models what is the equivalent circuit of the diode and using that equivalent circuit analyzing the various circuits in which the diode is kept finding the currents and voltages uh, of uh, various uh, circuits in which the diode is kept the next point for some applications like uh, how the diode acts as a rectifier clipper clamper or what is its working as far as a voltage doubler or voltage multiplier are concerned like that various applications we will be discussing here okay so let us start with uh, the diode models if you take a simple pn junction diode it is a two terminal device and the terminals are known as anode and cathode when does a diode conduct when anode voltage voltage at anode is greater than voltage at cathode then the diode conducts when anode voltage is less than cathode voltage the diode does not conduct this is a very first point okay so for which various circuits right where the diode conducts means just see this i am taking this two terminal device with uh, some power supply anode is connected to some two holes like that some resistor to protect the circuit for certain from due to the sudden fluctuations in the supply so cathode is connected to ground then if you look at it the anode is connected to some two holes and the cathode is going to ground definitely anode voltage is greater than cathode voltage the diode will conduct no doubt about it second point second circuit possible circuit anode is at uh, something like three volts and cathode is going to one volt we can take even this way here also the anode is going towards the higher potential compared to cathode the diode will conduct second one third one anode may be connected to ground and cathode is connected to minus 2 volts yes this is also another case where the diode will definitely conduct anode may be connected to ground potential but the cathode is at much negative potential definitely the diode will conduct and there is a current flowing from anode to cathode in all these circuits okay there is one more possible circuit we can take anode is connected to minus 2 volts and the cathode is connected to minus 4 volts look at this particular case even though anode is connected uh, to negative voltage the cathode is at much negative potential what to do ultimately anode is at a higher voltage compared to cathode here also the diode will conduct and there is a current flow from higher potential to lower potential and this current is always positive current flows from higher to lower potential okay these are all some examples of the diode being under conduction we can take it that's the meaning of the two statements i have 
made. Okay. Then, when the diode is in conduction, what is the current equation of the diode series? The current equation of a diode is given by I is equal to I s into e power v by eta v t minus 1, where I s is known as reverse saturation current. And V is the voltage across the rail. Okay, reverse saturation current is of course a function of temperature. We can take it. And here V is the voltage across the diode under conduction. Let me take V. V is voltage across diode under conduction. Eta is a constant, right? And whose value is 1 for germanium and 2 for silicon? Of course, we in general take it, but it is not mandatory. So, eta, it is, its value is 1 for germanium and 2 for silicon. What is its significance and all we generally study in electronic devices and circuits. There how eta factor has come and all. Okay. At this stage, we need not bother about all these things. And Vt, Vt is thermal voltage or volt equivalent of temperature. It's nothing but kT by Q. K is Boltzmann constant. T is absolute temperature. Q is charge of electron. And its value is further written like T by 11,600. And its default value is 25 millivolt. It is the default value. And it is equal to or at room temperature If I take it, its value, room temperature, that is, T is equal to 27 degree centigrade or 27 plus 273, it is equal to 300 degree Kelvin. At that temperature, its value is 300 by 11,600, it is equal to 26 millivolts. Okay. Uh, these are all the uh, specific uh, typical values we can take as far as the current equation of a pn junction diode is concerned okay and what are the typical values generally by default we take as i mentioned by default vt is 25 millivolts and a default eta value is 1 and by default the diode is silica uh, these are all some uh, right uh, notations we follow by default right and uh, at the time of learning the current equation of diode we follow these things but uh, as for this is what we do in EDC actually but once it comes to analog we take eta is equal to 1 as a default value and by default the diode is silicon diode okay it's not germanium diode just uh, these are all some notations Okay, now I am taking those values. If I take I is equal to I s into e power v voltage across the diode may be under forward or reverse biasal condition. Eta is 1 and V t is 25 millivolts default values I am taking minus 1. Which is further written as I s into e power 40 v minus 1 we can take this one okay then let us take the two cases forward and reverse bias conditions so if the diode is forward biased means 
the anode is going towards the positive terminal of the supply and the cathode is going towards the negative terminal of the supply. Some input voltage we give. V is the voltage across the diode and I is the current flowing through the diode. We can take it. So that the current equation now comes this way. I is equal to I s into e power v pi. Okay, 40 v. Uh, let me take it. Forty V minus one. I wrote it. In which V is a forward bias voltage, positive. I can say. Okay, and the typical value of the voltage across the diode when it is in conduction means it may be around it that range as far as the silicon diode is concerned. It is point five to point eight volts. Okay, some typical value I am taking just for example. If V is equal to 0.7 volts because the range of voltage across the diode under forward bias condition. See, it is forward bias. Under forward bias condition, V range, the range of V, if you take so, it is 0.5 volts to 0.8 volts. Okay, so some typical value I am taking in between. Maybe around 0.7 volts. If so, what is the I? I is equal to Is into E power 28 minus 1. 40 into 0.7. You can imagine how much large is the value of this E power At e power 28 is very much large in comparison with 1. Hence, what we can take. So, which can be approximated to, okay, approximated to Is into e power 28. SLX at the hand. Okay, one is neglected. Means, is the meaning kya hoga? Is into e power 40 V. 28 means it is like V is ranging from 0.8 to 0.8 volts. Or V like raha hoga. Baad mein, is ko kaisa lek sakte hain? Is into e power V by eta V. One could neglect kar sakte This is the idea here. So, in forward bias, in forward bias, this is the circuit and the original equation is this, but which can be approximated like this way. Yes, like Next point. In reverse bias, okay, reverse bias ka circuit kya hoi? In reverse bias means the anode should be at a lesser voltage compared to cathode. Means anode is connected to negative terminal of the supply and the cathode is connected to positive terminal of the supply. That's it. And I am taking the regular notation I to be like this and V to be like this. But to be frank, once you change the polarities of the supply, so, which means the cathode is at a higher voltage compared to 
anode. Okay. So the diode is under reverse bias. And how the current will be flowing according to the polarities of the supply? Definitely the current should flow from positive to negative terminal of the supply. But the conventional current direction of the diode is from left to right. As but as far as the circuit is concerned, current will be flowing from right to left. Means the current through the diode might be negative. Absolutely. Okay. So if you observe this current as far as the polarities of the battery are concerned, the current should flow like this. But current through the diode is given by anode to cathode, the direction, given by the direction, the direction of the current. Okay, means current through the diode should be negative. Okay, how it is coming from the current equation of the diode. Okay, see this. I is equal to I s into e power 40 V minus 1. And what about this V? Definitely that is negative due to reverse bias. So, V is negative. Once V is negative, reverse bias means it may be something like some 2 volts or 3 volts or 4 volts like that. And maximum reverse bias voltage can be seen across the diode. Whatever the voltage you have, the current is almost negligible. Right? The current under reverse bias condition, we are well aware, uh, it is in the range from nano amperes to pico amperes. Such a small current will be flowing current is very less and almost all the supply voltage can be seen across the diode. Okay, so this V is negative. This V is negative. Okay, so what is that value? Generally it may be around right if it is 2 volt supply entire 2 volts almost all the 2 volts can be seen across it or 3 volts means supply means entire 3 volts can be seen across the diode from cathode to anode. Okay. So just as an example I am writing it so. If V is equal to supply voltage or V input or V right suppose it is V is minus 2 then what about I? I is equal to I s into e power 40 into minus 2 minus 1 or I s into e power minus 80 minus 1. Now we can understand how much small is this value. This value is very much small we can neglect this in comparison with one or if you take it so it is is into 1 by e power 80 minus 1 it is negligible so it is equal to minus ls absolutely i said i is should be negative okay current through the diode is generally given with a notation from anode to cathode but in any circuit, the current will always flow from positive to negative terminal of the supply. So, the green color mark, in green color I have shown the actual direction of the current. Then what will be the current through the diode? It should be negative. Okay. Are you getting a negative value or not? Absolutely. We are getting a negative value. And what is that value? Yes. So, it may be supply voltage may be minus 2 or minus 3 or minus 4. Anyway, e power minus 80 or e power minus 120 or e power minus 160, all those values are negligible in comparison with 1. And hence, I is found to be minus IS. So, the current is not changing with respect to the supply voltage. And hence, we can call this current as reverse saturation current. Saturated, it got exhausted. See, we are all well aware of the meaning of saturation. 
right? If I speak for two hours, fine. Three hours, fine. Five hours, fine. If I go beyond, after some time, I got exhausted, saturated. Later, uh, I may speak something, but there is no proper uh, uh, right output from what I am expert. Or even the students, or again, stop saying teacher. So, teacher or students, right? Students can listen the class for two hours, four hours, five hours. If you are forced to sit for 10 hours, you will be exhausted. And you can't, just you will be looking at the board or uh, the tab, whatever it is, right? Tool. Uh, but uh, you won't, nothing goes inside your brain because you got exhausted or saturated. There is a limit for everything. In a similar fashion, right? Once in reverse bias, devices and the reverse bias, whatever the input you give, the current it does not change. And hence, we call that current as saturation current or reverse saturation current. This is the idea behind this. Now, keeping these two points in mind, if I draw the Dryad characteristics. Two cases I am taking forward and reverse bias characteristics. Current voltage characteristics. Forward bias means Anyway, the current and voltage both are positive. So, if I take voltage along x-axis, current along y-axis, right, it will be x and y coordinates are positive. So, plus plus in the first quadrant, the characteristics will appear. So, how do we get the characteristics? It is like an exponentially rising current. After the threshold voltage. There is a minimum voltage required for the diode to conduct. That voltage we call as threshold voltage. Okay. We, TH I will write it. Why I am saying so means earlier also I used this. V by eta Vt I wrote it. Here I mentioned Vt. Just please do observe this. Here also I mentioned Vt. What is the meaning of this Vt? I mentioned voltage is equivalent of temperature or thermal voltage, we say. And it is different from threshold voltage. Threshold voltage means, okay, it is the minimum voltage required for the diode to conduct. For every device to conduct, it requires some minimum supply voltage. That minimum supply is threshold voltage, okay, or cutting voltage, we can say. But Vt, it is the thermal voltage or voltage equivalent of temperature. Both are not one and the same. Right throughout, I follow this notation. Vt means thermal voltage, and Vth again there is one. Oh, Vth means uh, that is a threshold voltage. Okay, and there is one more is there Thevenin's voltage. There also Vth it looks like. So we should be careful uh, among uh, right uh, the three threshold voltage, thermal voltage, and Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Not only in networks, we also write equivalent circuit, Severance equivalent circuit, etc. We keep on writing. There also right, VTH I write it, but that VTH is different from the threshold. Okay, please do observe this point. Okay, so here I am writing VTH. And what about the current equation? It is I is equal to forward bias, no? I is equal to I s into e power V by eta V t. This is how I am writing. It is an exponential relation. This equation is valid for V greater than V t h threshold voltage. Okay. Next, the diode is reverse bias. When the diode is reverse bias, current through the diode is negative. Means Y coordinate is negative. Y is negative. What about the voltage? Voltage is also negative. 
when you apply positive voltage diode is conducting when you apply negative voltage diode does not conduct voltage is negative current is negative so characteristics will appear in the third quadrant both x and y coordinates are negative means it is in the third quadrant right humko characteristics aisa dikhega and it is i can say minus i s almost it is constant we can take it the reverse voltage may be right anyway the threshold voltage is around 0.5 volts that's a typical value we can say and reverse voltage if you take it may be minus 1 volt minus 2 volts minus 3 like that you can observe this okay here i'm writing minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like this even though the reverse voltage keeps on changing the current through the diode does not change whereas in forward bias if you observe so vth it, its typical value i am just writing for silicon diode 0.5 volts and the maximum voltage across the diode we can say 0 0.8 volt that is very less see the range uh, in positive x axis and negative x axis okay just uh, this is magnified this is a magnified clock right next if you observe the diode characteristics okay this is how we can see anyway here i wrote i is equal to minus i s Okay, I am writing here i is equal to minus i s. Then let us have a look at the variable resistance of the diode in forward and reverse bias. If you take so, just I am taking two coordinates here. with respect to these two coordinates ye dekhi idhar minimum point hai to 0.5 volts hai. maximum point if you consider ye 0.8 volts hai. dono ke beech mein small elemental portion right we are taking and what is this it's in the range of millivolts only 0.5 to 0.8 in between it is like 500 millivolt and it is like 800 millivolt ye dono ke beech mein small elemental portion hum le rahe hain iska range bole to ye millivolts mein rehta hai okay and what about the current in forward bias the current in forward bias is in the range of milli amperes okay so that the resistance of the right right or change in y coordinate by slope if you take it it is delta i by delta v all right current by voltage means it is the admittance not the resistance or impedance so then the dynamic resistance of the diode rf or the diode forward resistance denoted by rf is equal to delta v by delta i right it is in the range of millivolts it is in the range of milli amperes so the rf range if you take it, it comes around 25 to 100 ohms. That much small value we can see. The resistance of the diode under forward bias condition. Okay. That's it. And coming to the reverse bias. Reverse resistance. Okay. That is denoted by RR. It is equal to delta V by delta I. There is, if you consider, right, if you take two points here, right, maybe this point and this point and the corresponding currents here and here, there is a change in voltage, but the change in current is J, so that the reverse resistance is found to be infinite, okay. 
this is how we can see ideally but practically if you take practically this is the ideal value okay if you take the practical value it is in the range of v is in the range of volts and the current is in the range of nano or pico amperes i have said so it is in the range of nano amperes in that case it is coming around hundreds of mega ohms this is how we can observe okay in forward bias the current is large and the resistance is less in reverse bias the current is in very less almost zero ideally practically it is in the order of nano to pico amperes and what about the resistance it comes in the order of mega ohms i can say it need not be hundreds of mega ohms but it is in the order of mega ohms practically speaking tens or hundreds even we can take that's it so these are the conclusions from the current equation of a pn junction diode okay now based on these characteristics there are certain models developed why those models are developed means again if you observe the current voltage relation of a pn junction diode it is non linear okay i is equal to is into e power v by eta v to minus 1 if i use that non linear equation then finding the currents and voltages of a diode kept in a particular circuit will be very difficult it is a time consuming process actually humko aisa tough circuit se analyze karna bahut mushkil hota hai isliye some approximations should be developed okay what are those approximations right if you see that three models have been derived what are those three okay the first one is like model 1 i'm just modifying the diode characteristics instead of taking this curve right if you observe this instead of taking this curve right instead of taking this curve what i am doing is i am taking a straight line and what about the slope of that straight line it is coming from the right uh, from by drawing a slope to the tangent the slope is just nothing but uh, a tangent to this curve right slope is equal to uh, the first derivative first derivative of this current equation it's also known as a slope of the tangent slope is nothing but the slope of the tangent drawn to the curve okay so that's what i'm taking here it is now something like r f is equal to d v by d i r right 1 by r f anything we can write it actually slope means change in y coordinate by change in x coordinate i should write d i by d but resistance is voltage by current hence and hence i am writing r f is equal to r 1 by slope i can write d v by d i we can take it and this voltage is v gamma we write v gamma or v threshold in here okay and reverse bias and of course this current is in the order of milli amperes and coming to the reverse if the supply voltage is less than the threshold voltage then the current is almost negligible instead of taking nano or pico amperes of current we are neglecting that current that current is zero zero means i can show it this way straight line coinciding with x axis okay this is the model instead of using the carus and all or non linear equations i am just trying to take them as some straight line equations so what might be the relation now between 
current and voltage of a PN junction diode. How to find it? I can't now write it like I is equal to I S into U power root by eta root A. Okay, then what might be? I have changed the characteristics based on that. I need to take the corresponding current voltage relation. Okay, for that, what I am doing here is. I am taking this one, this is one particular point whose coordinates are V gamma comma J. And what is the slope here? Slope is equal to 1 by R F. Once you know a point and slope, then we can write the straight line equation relating the current and voltage of a PN engine diode under forward mass recognition. So, what is it? Straight line equation. That is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x0. What is y? Current is taken along the axis. And y1, this is like x1, y1 point. This is slope m. Okay. Then y1, it is 0 is equal to slope 1 by rf into x. What we are taking along x axis? Voltage v minus v gamma. So I can write it like i is equal to v minus v gamma by rf for v greater than or equal to v gamma. So, this is true only when V is greater than V gamma. If V is less than V gamma, the current will be 0. It is 0 for V less than V gamma. That's it. So, this is how we can take the relation between current and voltage of a PN junction diode with this kind of approximation. So, what is the equivalent circuit then? For that, Earlier one completely non-linear equation, we can't write the equivalent circuit. But now we can write the circuit. What is that? So I wrote I is equal to V minus V gamma by RF. So I can write I into RF is equal to V minus V gamma. Or we can write V is equal to V gamma plus I into RF. We can write this one. So that what is the circuit? From this equation, I am drawing a circuit. See this. This is the diode. V is the voltage across it and I is the current flowing from anode to cathode. It is further written as Rf, V gamma, V and I. Now you check this. V is equal to V gamma plus I into Rf. Are you not getting this equation? Absolutely. From the equation, I am trying to develop some equivalent circuit for a simple PN junction diode. This is the idea. This is called as model 1. We can treat it as model 1. Next one, model 2. Here what is it? If you observe this diode forward resistance RF, as I told, the dynamic resistance is 25 to 100 ohms. Right. Generally, we take 25, 30 ohms and all. In analog circuits or in electronics, that resistance is on the order of 25, 50, 100 are negligible. When compared to uh, the kilo ohms of resistance. Okay. So, these resistances are negligible. This resistance is negligible. Neglecting RF, I can write. Neglecting the forward resistance RF. What we get? It becomes 
V becomes V1. Means, what is the equivalent circuit? It looks like outside this is the diode, V is the current and I is the current flowing. It is equal to V1. IV. That's it. So what I did, I have simply neglected the resistance. So how does the characteristic of a PN junction diode change now? Means as far as this model is concerned, the diode characteristics will be It is V gamma. You can take it. What is the meaning of this? V voltage across diode is equal to V gamma. The current may be 1 milliampere or 2 milliampere or 3 milliampere like this. The current through the diode can take different values, whereas voltage across diode remains constant at V gamma. This is the meaning of this. Of course, this is possible if and only if the diode is forward bias. Okay. This way we can try it. In reverse bias, we can take any value, but I is always 0. Okay. This is model 2. So, here wherever we see the diode, simply we can write V gamma and I. like this we can take means if you compare the previous one here model one it is like a practical voltage source you take the diode Practical voltage source. Equivalent circuit once the diode is in conduction. To be frank, diode cannot act as a voltage source. The equivalent circuit of the diode once it is in conduction, we can take it. So, looks like practical voltage source. A voltage source ki tarah dik raha hai, par a voltage source nahi. Okay. And second one, neglecting RF, we are writing so. So, a kaisa dik raha hai. If you observe this, its equivalent is like ideal voltage source. This is the difference. Neglecting or off. It is like neglecting the source internal resistance. But right, please do remember diode cannot act like a voltage source. Right? Equivalent circuit. Once it is in conduction, its equivalent circuit looks like that. But to be frank, it is no more an ideal or practical voltage source, not self-generating. Okay. And third model. If you observe this, neglecting V gamma also, what is the range of V gamma? It's not 1 volt, 2 volts, 10 volts like that. It's very small. Its range is from 0.5 to 0.8 volts. Isli hum isko bhi neglect kar sakte hain. Neglecting V gamma. Neglecting V gamma along with RF. Then what happens here? How does the characteristic appear? V 
V gamma is also. This is how we can see the diode characteristics. The current may be 1 milliampere or 2 milliampere or 3 milliampere, something like this. But the current is okay, voltage is zero. V gamma is zero. Means once the diode is conducting, it acts as short circuit. It's not conducting, it's an open circuit. Okay, like this we can take. So if you take a PN junction diode here, once it is forward biased, V is zero. Means it's equivalent. No voltage across the diode means it behaves like short circuit. That's it. This is an equivalent circuit in third mode. Okay. So we have seen three models, three approximations, I can say. All right. First approximation, it looks like a practical voltage source. Second approximation, it looks like ideal voltage source. Third approximation, short circuit in forward bias and open circuit in reverse bias. In all the three models, when the diode is reverse biased, it acts as open circuit. Okay. In forward bias, various possible equivalent circuits we can see. That's it. Based on this, now we do some problems. Right. If they do not mention anything about the diode, then we take by default the diode is ideal. Okay. If they give V gamma, uh, then it is like an ideal voltage source. If they give V gamma and RF, then it is like a practical voltage source. Right. It all depends upon the data given in the problem. Now, let us have a look at some problems based on these three models we have seen. 